What's up guys, Chaos here. As you guys see, we have a new scenery behind us. I'm back home. Uh, it's been a minute since I've been home, so a lot of you guys that follow me on YouTube probably haven't seen this. Um, we're back home for good. Basketball season's over, so I'm back home. Uh, I also got a new webcam. I hope you guys like that. Um, I, I said last video that I was going to be getting that, so I hope you guys think that's pretty cool. Uh, I think I look a lot less pixely, so uh, that's pretty cool, but I'll bring you guys a video today. Um, it's called, it's Pat's Why Post at a Gun Trip Site Inn. So, a lot of you guys, well, I wouldn't say a lot of you guys, a decent amount of you guys probably have seen this from my ebook. Um, it's a very, very good play. However, I'm updating the the, the ebook this week, and Pat's Why Post, it'll still be in it, but I'm going to be moving to Chargers and Broncos um, Trip Site Inn because I want to use Xbot. There's a, I have like three or four good setups at of Xbot. Um, in addition to that, I'm going to be updating some route specialist stuff in there for this week so be on the lookout for that probably saturday or sunday likely this weekend um if you guys don't have them already make sure you check the description the ebooks are there um updates coming this week now let's jump into the video um it's gonna be pats by post it's a very very good play for several different reasons reasons i have a lot of different setups for it and uh we'll just we'll just um go right through them man um you guys are gonna enjoy the video first and foremost um the play right here with this with this little weird post is really really good. This is the this is the base setup. It's streak Y, drag B, slant the outside, and block the running back. Now, on the first play, we're gonna throw this drag. I want you guys to watch the cloud on the right side. I'll show you guys in the replay, but he's gonna follow this post up, even though this post isn't that far away from him. And we get to pass lead this drag up, and we gain around 10, 12, 15 yards um, with room to spin. Now I'm gonna show you guys here, let you guys watch it. He follows this post. You see he runs straight for it. He's following, he follows it, he follows it. And that gives you so much time to throw this drag. And you have tons of space. I gained like 12 right there. I could have just spun and stayed in bounds and done all that. So that's the first thing. Uh, that's, what, that's the first good thing about this post. The second good thing about this post, absolutely nothing plays it. So I'm going to have a mid read out there and a vert hook out there. And we'll put a middle deep blue right here. Okay. So I have all the different possible things that could possibly play it. This post is still going to get open. Pass lead right in there. And you guys can see it got over top of everything. Let's go back to the replay here. This inside streak here. He pushes the deep blue back. You see this is the middle linebacker that's in the deep blue. Um, he follows the streak. So he's not guarding it. The mid read just sits here, literally guarding nothing. He doesn't guard the slant, and he doesn't guard the drag. He just sits there and lets the post get over top, and the post gets wide open. So that's the second part of it that's really, really good. Now, if they happen to play hard flats, so let's say they played hard flats, the drag's not going to be open. Obviously, the post will still be there, but you can throw the slant on this backside. So I got shedded. Um, here. You're not going to really have time with this in practice mode, but I just want to show you guys that it's there. So let me just spy a couple guys here. Um, hopefully it doesn't stop the route for them. But if they play hard flats, the slant's going to get over uh, the hard flat. So it's going to be an easy, easy read for you. And right there, you see, gets over the hard flat. I just want to show you guys that. It's not really a read I make a ton unless they're not sending any pressure. If they only send three people, then yeah, you'll be able to make that read as a high-low between the drag and the slant. But here's why you really use the slant for. So if they, uh, say they're in cover two and they're blitzing you, right? So they're sending six, which a lot of people are doing out of three, three, five right now. They're also doing this out of five, two, um, nickel normal, all those. If they're sending six at you, this slant's a hot read for you. So watch how quick you can throw this slant. The second you see them blitzing, you throw that slant, you can turn up field. The cloud doesn't really do anything to it. It's just a really, really quick, as soon as you see it, so what I'm doing, if they're in like a 3-3-5, a nickel normal, 5-2, this is what I'm doing. I'm literally sitting here watching this guy. And I'm watching him. So I'm watching two people. The second I see them both blitz, I'm pressing slant. I'm throwing, I know I'm throwing this. I already know. I saw them two, take two steps at me. I know they're blitzing. I'm throwing that slant. It's automatic, and it's free yards for you. So that's the main reason why I use the slant on this play. But as I, as I showed you guys before, it does get over the the cloud uh, the hard flat if they play hard flats. Now, uh, for the next setup for this play, we're gonna reset it here. 
This corner route is very, very good. It gets over, it gets over cloud flats no matter what you do. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna do this. So what I'd probably do is I'd curl the tight end and I'd motion this guy over on a drag. This would be my base setup. But I'm gonna show you guys a couple other setups to make this a little bit better. Um, now, you saw that took a while, right? I couldn't throw the cloud very quickly, which is, I'm glad I got sacked, that's actually perfect. That's why I've stopped doing this setup as much. So I, what I did was I had the curl on the tight end, the drag from the outside guy. Watch how long it takes to get over this cloud. It takes a while, it takes a while, it takes a while. I can't throw it yet. Now I can finally throw it. As I was trying to throw it, I was getting sacked. Okay, that's cool. Now watch this. This is my new setup for it. So, streak Y, still curl the tight end, but now we're gonna out route Watkins. Now watch how much faster this, uh, this gets open. I was able to throw that so much sooner because that cloud flat had to go react to the out route. So that's something I've been doing. Now, say you get blitzed, right? If you get blitzed, say they sent, say they sent this guy, they sent this guy, you literally can just throw the out route. Like this out route's good yards. Look how much space I have. I have all this green, that cloud has to get all the way down to me. So if they blitz me, I probably can throw this out route. Or even if I if they don't blitz, like if I'm feeling like I'm getting shedded right here. Just throw your out route. If they play clouds, throw your out route. It's no problem. If they play hard flats, the corner will get open so much quicker. And I'll show that now. So if they play hard flats here, I'll do the same setup here. So motion it in. They play hard flats. You throw the corner out. Really easy. It's no problem, right? So that's two setups now. Here's the two setups we have so far. We have the uh, drag streak slant, and we have out route curl route streak. Right. So we'll go a bit more, a little bit more over this. Um, say they were deep quartering out here, right? Um, I'm going to show you guys something on this replay. This is important. Um, watch the wide receiver splits. When I motion this outside guy. My streak from Y is gonna take like two steps in. That takes the deep quarter on the outside two more steps away from your corner route. So let me show you here. Go to the replays. Now you can see how, how far in that deep quarter got pulled in. Hopefully they have all that, that all on the replay. So he's moved in a step already. And now the deep quarter plays all the way, sorry, the deep quarter plays all the way inside here on that streak, which leaves all this green open instead of him hovering around outside. So that's why you also want to do the motion. It helps you a lot. You see, uh, I'll baseline now and show you guys again. It'll be easier to see from baseline. I'll show you guys the same exact thing. You saw he'll take his two steps in. And you see, he follows the streak. Now, let me go back again one more time on the replay. Sorry, guys. I want you guys to understand it. So by moving the streak inside, you see this deep quarter following him. He follows him here instead of following, like he would be following him like farther out, like out here, which would allow a little bit more space for him to play this corner out. Now, he might not play it anyways, but you can just see it's better. So now you have your two setups, right, so far. There's only one more. So this is the first one. Here's the second one. And then here's the third. So if you need a huge chunk of yards, right? Here's the setup. Your post is gonna beat everything. Your corner route's gonna beat everything. You might get sacked. This is only, I, I stress, this is only if you need a big chunk of yards. You're not gonna do this on a normal down where you don't need a big chunk of yards. You motion over this drag, and you're just gonna pick the corner route or the post, whichever one the user doesn't guard. And you can see, I didn't get a catch. That's partly because um, I uh, the mid read the mid read messed me up a little bit right there. I I had bad timing. That was my fault. So disregard me. That's my fault. We'll try again. I 
accidentally accidentally um so you throw your corner out oh my gosh <laughs> but you guys can see it so i'll go back to the replays here so um you just take whichever one you want if you want the corner out that's open if you want the post that's open so you really just take whichever one you want um and i'll show you guys one more time here i'll throw the post um Okay. Okay. Motion over. Jeez, I just got hollered at. Gosh dang it, dude. <laughs> Practice mode is crazy. All I want to do is show you guys one blitz. Come on. Or one play. <laughs> I'm I'm covering to do this guy. I don't don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Yo, I'm telling you, there's so many people in the chat. They literally go, you got sacked, bro. This play blows. Like, dude, first of all, practice mode sheds like insane. Second of all, I'm trying to show you guys these deep routes just to show you they work. A lot of the time, you end up just taking your drag. But anyways, you see the post. Like, gosh dang it. I shed again. But you guys just, you guys get the point. I mean, the post beats everything. Um... And uh, you just pass leave that up, um, and the corner route beats everything. Um, I mean, you get it. And if you didn't want to motion over, if you didn't want to motion over the drag, you could just leave the drag here too. Um, it might make your corner route a little bit more covered, as I said before, but it's still gonna get open. Um, oh, the mid read actually played at that time. That's my fault. I guess you need the slant. I guess the slant is what makes it the glitch. So. That's my bad. I actually never labbed the mid read without the. Okay, so I guess you have to do. You have to do this. You have to. You have to motion over the drag. My bad. Disregard. Disregard. <laughs> but oh my gosh. Yeah, disregard that. You have to motion over the slant. You have to motion over the drag. I am wrong. My apologies. I'm sorry. But yeah, so. You guys see it. I mean, it's a really, really good play. Um, I'll go over the three setups one more time. So this is the first one. This one's great against blitzes. I mean, it's just a good play in general, but it's really, really good against blitzes, and then it's just a good coverage beater if they're not manning up the tight end. Um, here's the second one. Corner route's going to get over the top. And then if you need big yards, I repeat, if you need big yards, you have to motion over the drag. Disregard what I said before, you have to motion over the drag. But really, really good play. Gosh, dang, dude, this is ridiculous. I'm cutting the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like for me if you guys don't mind. You know, what I'm appreciate y'all. Take it easy. Peace.